Good afternoon, folks. The full NOAA and NASA analysis of this morning's X-Class solar flare are updated. The X1.8 flare event from the northern Earth-facing sunspot released a tremendous CME. That's the difference with long-duration events. The CMEs are much bigger. As we showed this morning, there's clearly a large halo CME event visible on SOHO. It will impact the comet you see there tonight and Earth tomorrow. Both NASA and NOAA's Enlil spiral show the blast, which is moving quickly enough to sweep up the previous smaller CME in a cannibal event. The projected speed and relatively high density to the shock wave you see in the forecast here has them predicting a level 4 geomagnetic storm. It's a KP of 8, which means satellites could take charging events and errors. Auroras are likely to be visible from low latitudes in various parts of the world. We will almost certainly see the normal network disruptions and upticks in electrical fires, and it's possible we'll see larger scale grid issues and infrastructure outages from power to internet to cellular. All the known solar health effects are in play. Existing cardiac patients are at high risk. Blood pressure and heart rate impacts will affect everybody, but only the less healthy need to be truly worried here. At these levels, cognitive diminution is in play as well, and emotional instability. Please try not to fight with your loved ones during this storm. We're still watching for more flares from the sunspots, like another X-Class event that just happened, luckily over at the limb, and won't impact Earth with the CME. But the Earth-facing spots may flare again too. The impact from their latest is likely only a day away now. See you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.